have reached rest grace with rwgresearch.com. Open dash source dash energy. Video series RWG OSD Oversized Delta. Hey, what's up, everybody? So, Russ with rwgresearch.com here. I'm gonna move my chair because I'm gonna try to plan the ending. Hey, uh, so yeah, this is terrible footage, isn't it? So here's the deal. Um, the video you're about to watch was recorded quite a long time ago, and uh, since then I learned through comments in my YouTube section about my OSD printer that they actually make a Wi-Fi version uh, that is pre-order at the moment, not actually done yet, it's still in the works, but it's available. So watch this video, and if you have an old uh, electronic set, the Duet, then you can do exactly what I show in this video. Otherwise, if you're buying new, you might want to wait until the Wi-Fi version comes out. It also has some other changes. I actually ordered one, I pre-ordered one, so when I get the pre-ordered one, we'll have a closer look at it, and we'll see how it goes. So, until then, let's see if we can actually spin in this tiny shop. Wait, I need something to catch. Here we go. Oh yeah, okay, so, if this doesn't make you sick, I don't know what will. But, basically, watch this video, leave a comment, and there'll be a lot more better things coming, but at the moment, uh, these videos are just what they are. So, the next one's going to be more electrical and some actually machining. So, just bear with me, enjoy the video. What's up, everybody? My name is Russ with rwgresearch.com. So, today I'm talking about the 3D printer, I'm talking about the Duet electronics that I bought for this new 3D printer. And I'm going to talk about how to make it wireless. So first of all, it's really easy. You basically just need some sort of a Wi-Fi adapter that you can turn into a repeater. And you can basically make sure it has a Ethernet jack, RJ45 Ethernet jack, and just plug it right into the Duet. And as long as you can connect it to the network, or you can connect to this network, you're good to go. Now, what I originally did was I found this guy, which I found at a yard sale for like five bucks. I put WDDR firmware on it, which is a hacked version. Uh, I put that on most every router that I get because it works really well. And these you can find pretty well everywhere now, the old Linksys. So this is a 2.4 gigahertz. This is very big. This has two antennas. It's uh, pretty powerful for what it is. It's a wireless G, this particular one. And um, this is too big to put underneath the bottom of my printer. So I went looking. Um, I happened to have this little guy. So this is a, um, maybe it's upside down, this is a Netgear, and it's a plug-in, you plug it right into the wall, it's got an Ethernet port on the bottom, USB, and it's actually got uh, a weird thing, it's got a, um, an audio jack on the bottom, kind of like, why do you have an audio jack? That's actually so you can wirelessly broadcast music and play it through this box in case you wanted to do that somewhere. Um, this is pretty cool, this is pretty advanced, this has actually got 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz, so you can repeat the signal to your main router on 5 gigahertz and then repeat that service on 2.4 gigahertz. Now, originally I was just going to use this. It's pretty compact. Um, I took it apart. It basically has a 12-volt, tw uh, 1.2-amp uh, power supply built into it. Then on the other side, it basically has um, a heat sink attached to the side of this with a bunch of um, pads sticking everything together. So I couldn't really just take this apart and use it uh, an external power supply instead of the um, the 120 volt adapter here, which just again is just a standard 12 volt supply on the inside. So what I um, now I can't get this thing in anyway. So this wasn't a great option because it's still pretty bulky. So that's when I did a little digging and I found this guy. Now this little thing is pretty darn cool. This is actually only a $20 item on Amazon, which is just crazy. So let's go ahead and get a closer shot of what this really is and see if it's something interesting or not. All right, here it is. So first of all, this is not a promotional video. This is purchased with my own hard earned money. But this was $20, uh, actually it might have been only $15 now that I think about it on Amazon. So, after I opened this, I put it all back in here and thought, I have to make a video about this because 
I am absolutely amazed. Originally what I was going to do is just put like an Arduino together and put a Wi-Fi adapter on it and make it work this way, but it's just hodgepodge. It's not really necessary if you can find something like this. So this is actually crazy. So let's get into it. Okay, here it is. So I've already opened this, so this is not really like an unboxing, but I just want to show you what's in here. It took me a while, I forgot how to get this open. I had to get in there and like pry it open. Mama's making brownies in the background, so if you hear some noises, this is her. So, there it is. That's the whole unit. We'll get into this in a second, but I figured I would show you a comparison of how small this thing really is. It's pretty small. Um, it's just crazy small compared to this guy. <laughs> and it's even pretty darn small compared to this guy because of its thickness. Now the cool thing about this is that it has USB, so just 5 volt in and an Ethernet port out. That's it. That's the whole thing. Now you can do repeater, bridge, and all the fun stuff, but I just want to connect it to the printer, the Duet. So what else is in this box? Styrofoam, piece of plastic, which I think was actually originally on top. I just put it in the wrong spot. And you've got a really hefty charger cable, um, or a power cable. This is actually a very nice cable. It's not a cheapie. You've got an actual power brick. This guy is 1 amps, 5 volt. That's pretty good. And then you also have the flat um, Ethernet port cable, which is kind of kind of interesting. So some more labels and stuff. There's a CD driver in here and some instructions and safety stuff. But ultimately, for the amount that this costs, for packaging alone, and then just a wall wart and the cable at a, at a local store is going to cost you as much as the whole unit. You can even get the flat ethernet cord. It's just incredible. So, uh, I guess we'll try to put this thing together and actually see if it works. Alright guys, welcome back. So I've just got the USB connected to my computer to power this little guy. I've got the Ethernet cord plugged into the Duet, which is on top of my printer. And... It works! So this is... Pretty fast. This guy is actually 150 megabits per second. They make a 300 megabits per second. I figured I'd try the lower one, it's probably fine. And if I need to upgrade it, I could. But this guy is $15. Uh, which is pretty incredible. Works so far pretty good. It's a bit of a challenge to set up because um, I was trying to configure it differently. Uh, but it should be pretty straightforward for most people. You can set this up as client mode so it does not rebroadcast. It only accepts and then only allows for a wired connection. So currently I have this set up as a bridge mode so I can also connect to it wirelessly. It's completely on a different network as well. Um, but right now I'm actually connected to my home router, which this box is connected to the home router. And it all seems to work. So That's a lot more compact than what I was originally trying to use something like this. Um, yeah. So, Wireless Duet OSD is now wireless. Except for this connection, which I'll get rid of in a little while. Alright, peace out. You got anything to say, Womanator? She's going to try her brownies. Let's have a look. Now, Russell Martin told us how to make brownies. And that's how you test them. That was my theory. <laughs> so are they good or no? I don't know. I don't really like brownies. I do. Seem all right. This top still is The ice maker's talking to us. You hear it? All right, you got any last words? I'm just hungry. <laughs> hungry. She made brownies. Oh, goodness. We got other projects. This is Womanator's projects here. Anyway, so far, so good. All right, peace and out, guys. Have a good night. Leave a comment. Bye.